This video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. Magnesium is an important nutrient that your body needs to stay healthy. It's an essential mineral, which means that your body doesn't make it. You must get it in your diet. Magnesium is important for regulating muscle and nerve function, blood sugar levels and blood pressure, and for making protein, bone, and DNA. In fact, magnesium is needed for more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body. Benefits of magnesium include helping you maintain a healthy heart rhythm and healthy blood pressure. It's critical for normal normal bone structure, bone formation, and especially bone density as we age. It's similar to vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 helps make sure that calcium gets to your bones like it's supposed to, and magnesium helps your bones absorb that calcium. Magnesium helps facilitate digestion and regulate blood glucose levels. It also plays a role in helping you to get sleep that deep restorative sleep by helping to calm the nervous system. If you have problems sleeping, taking a magnesium supplement can help. If I have problems sleeping, I often take about two to 400 milligrams of magnesium and it helps me go right to sleep. It helps your muscles to relax. You've probably heard of this before, but if you have muscle cramps at night, like those really painful calf cramps, taking some magnesium will often make that go right away or prevent it from happening in the first place. Due to its relaxing effect, it can be very beneficial for alleviating constipation. It can also play a role in managing managing stress levels by reducing cortisol in the body. Magnesium is also an important electrolyte that plays a role in proper hydration. Magnesium enables your body to metabolize vitamin D3, so if you're taking a vitamin D3 supplement and you're low in magnesium, the benefits of that vitamin D3 supplement, it's just not going to be nearly what you want. Magnesium is one of the most abundant elements in your body, but unfortunately, about 60 to 70% of the world's population is deficient in magnesium. If you live in the US and are primarily eating what's known as the standard American diet, you're most likely deficient in magnesium. Now, signs of magnesium deficiency include loss of appetite, fatigue, muscle spasms or muscle cramps, nausea, stiffness, weakness, and severe magnesium deficiency can result in abnormal heart rhythms, numbness, tingling, and seizures, coronary spasms, and even personality changes. If you're concerned about magnesium or have any of these symptoms, of course, the best thing to do would be to go talk to your doctor. If you're curious about magnesium, one of the things you can do is get a blood test. I recently ordered a blood test to check levels of micronutrients like magnesium, vitamin D, and several others. And I went through a company called Let's Get Checked. They're the sponsors of this video. They're actually the world's leader in at-home blood tests, and they've been around since about 2015. You don't have to make an appointment. They send you the test kit directly. It's super easy. You get the kit, you prick your finger, you collect a few drops of blood in this little container, and you send it back. Then you get the results online. And I have to tell you, it's really cool. And it also gave me a lot of peace of mind and made me think, hey, I guess I'm doing a few things right. If you want to go that route, I have a link for you down below. You can save 25%. So how much magnesium do we need? Women need about 310 to 320 milligrams and men need about 410 to 420 milligrams per day. What can we do to increase or maintain healthy magnesium levels? That really comes down to eating foods that contain magnesium and or taking a supplement. Foods that contain magnesium include dark leafy greens such as spinach, kale, collard greens, and Swiss chard, nuts and seeds like almonds and pumpkin seeds, fatty fish like salmon, sardines, mackerel and anchovies. Avocados are also a good source of magnesium as well as Greek yogurt and you're gonna love this one. Chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. Specifically dark chocolate. One ounce or about one square of 70 to 85 percent dark chocolate provides about 75 milligrams of magnesium and it's awesome. So what about supplements? How much should you take? The general recommendation for how much magnesium we should take in supplement form is around 200 to 400 milligrams per day. Can you take too much? Yes, you can. The best way to tell that you're taking too much is if you start having diarrhea. And if that happens, then you just back off a little bit. It's not super dangerous to overdo it, but you definitely want to back off. Now, what kind should you take? Now, Dr. Stephen Gundry says that it doesn't really matter what form of magnesium that you take, whether it's magnesium citrate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium aspartate, magnesium chelate, or some other version. He suggests taking the one that you respond to the best and gives you the minimal amount of like stomach discomfort or anything like that. Uh, so when should you take it? Because of its relaxation effects, it's often recommended that you take it at night, in the evenings before bed. I used to take vitamin D3, K2, and magnesium separately, but I recently switched to an all-in-one um, because it's just a lot more convenient. I get mine from Do Not Age, 
where I get most of my supplements. Of course, there are other options out there as well. Speaking of vitamin K2, both magnesium and K2 work along with vitamin D to ensure that calcium is used effectively in the body, which is vitally important to bone and heart health. To learn more about vitamin K2, check out this video right over here.